Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video today and as you can tell from the title of this video, I've got a little bit of a story time for you as well as some do's and don'ts when you're purchasing online, especially from eBay. <laughs> so um, basically what had happened is that I was doing on a work trip and after many, many beverages, I decided to go back to my hotel room and do some online shopping. And I've been looking at this brand Songmong for Songmong, I think Songmong, I think that's how you say it for quite a while as Instagram. You definitely can go down a rabbit hole where if you click on one indie brand, it, Instagram decides to generate an algorithm so that it basically bombards you or lines up a number of different bags that you, you know, usually it's indie brands, not so much like the big luxury brands, but the indie brands, they start inundating you with lots of ads. And of course, me, you know, love clicking on every single one of them. And Songmang, I feel like is a, a pretty reputable brand from China, and they've got really cool designs. So I've been eyeballing it, haven't made the plunge. But then of course, I typed in Songmang uh, to Google search, and this has popped up. This is the Luna bag, and just to show you, I mean, oh my god, <laughs> just look at this. So basically, I found this eBay link that I was like, oh, cool, someone's selling their second hand, or maybe they're just letting go uh, this, this piece that they no longer want, it didn't fit for them or whatever. And you see that on Poshmark from time to time. And it was a really good deal. Obviously, I was not fully there to make a informed decision that that I usually do and do some research. And of course, I just like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna buy it. And it was like 50 or $80. I can't remember, I can pull it up. But it was really cheap. But you know, it's not so absurdly cheap that I was like suspicious, it's not like $20 or whatever, you know, for a retail of $308 for this particular bag. And then usually they do like 10, 15, 20% off. So, you know, someone letting it go just to get rid of it at like $80 is not completely out of the realm here, right? So purchased it. It took about two weeks for it to arrive and it came in this dust bag, which is fine. And then it also came with this uh, bubble wrap. Then it was wrapped in, you know, just your regular postage bag no no boxes or anything and so again i didn't think too much of it because i thought it was going to be you know second hand but it turned out to be a complete knockoff right there was no smell no plasticky smell but i was touching the leather it's questionable if this is actually real leather if it is it doesn't smell like it but it also doesn't smell like plastic leather but look at how awful that is it doesn't seem like anybody has used this before and it, it was just like lumpy and it, it obviously this is a complete knockoff which i feel like why would you go through the trouble of knocking off a bag that's not even that expensive in the first place but then again um you know you see a lot of pauline bags that are knockoffs selling on poshmark for like a hundred dollars and people were like oh okay cool let's go ahead and buy it since it's probably like a second hand so just doing a quick review obviously this is not the actual bag from songmong but the functionality is still the same um you can see this, this is god awful <laughs> uh but you can see the functionality is still the same inside you can see it's this is a magnetic enclosure which is cool and you can open it up it comes with a strap and also comes with like a, a tag right inside it's pretty basic there's a bunch of loose threads in here which you know whatever and it comes with a pocket overall the inside is not nothing to complain about and what i really liked about this is that this comes apart and you can go ahead and turn this into a little moon bag right which is cute and I know you're supposed to hook this up and becomes a little circular bag where you can hold on to it but 
as much as I think that's cool, but it's just like, even if this is the real thing, how are you supposed to access your purse? You gotta like open it up. Wow, did you hear that? It was like a suction thing. And then what, be this becomes a bracelet? And then you open it up to access your items. So it didn't really make too much sense to me. Uh, I'm not going to open this, but clearly this is going to be a strap that hooks onto the D-rings here. Overall, the idea is, is cool, but even if I've gotten the non-knockoff version or the real version, uh, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense for this bag. And also, the it's supposed to be a vintage hardware, but this is clearly, I, I'm sure you can't really see that on the camera here, but this is tarnished, so... What I did was send out a request for a refund and they immediately respond saying, hey, the shipping back to China is quite expensive. Would you consider a $10 refund? And then you go ahead and keep the bag. I'm just like, uh, no, I'm not going to keep a bag that is completely deformed, right? It doesn't even look good. If it was a knockoff, fine. But if it was, you know, a good replica so to speak i would have just be like all right fine i'll just keep it and use it but no i'm not gonna spend 80 dollars on something that's completely defective uh so that's what i told them and i'm still waiting to hear back from them ebay has a buyer's protection policy so i they have i think like three or four days for a resolution between the two of us if there is no agreed resolution, then eBay will step in and we'll see what happens then. So overall, I'm not upset about this experience because if I had spent $300 on this bag directly from the website, I would have figured out after the fact that when you turn this into a, a little fortune cookie it's still not very functional the idea is good and the design innovative design is cool but then the execution of that and thinking it completely through in terms of functionality it was just you know not completely there so you would end up using it as just like a shoulder bag like this and then or with the strap which is like the crossbody rule of thumb in my opinion is basically for contemporary brands that are ranging around, you know, $100, $200, $300, anything under $500 really, if you're deciding to go the pre-love route, uh, I would say definitely just try to buy directly from, you know, Pauline or, you know, Floron or Salmon, these companies, because yes, you're spending maybe $100, $200 less, but you can end up being with a really cheap knockoff like this one. And it's just not worth your money, right? If it works, fine. But most of the time, if there's some really bad flaws, because if you're spending only, you know, 50 to to $100, they're not going to put the time to make it a good replica. So hopefully this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I want to cover topics that will help you adult easier. Let's save some money and time <laughs> and effort not having to go through this. So life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can live your best life and hopefully less than retail. See you next time.